All right, let's get ready to stream. Making sure I'm connecting to everything properly. All right, looks good. Good to go. And we are live. All right. All right, there we go. Good morning. Welcome back to my little stream channel. My name is Jason. And here I share my adventures learning and creating 3D art, as well as a little bit of uh, video games and some random reviews occasionally. Um, for those of you who have been following along the channel, uh, I just moved, um, or who haven't been following along, uh, I did just move and uh, settled into my new place. Um, I am trying out a totally new setup for my desk. Uh, I have like a all desk, I wouldn't call it a standing desk, but it's close. I'm giving it a try to see if I might want to get a stand-up desk later on. Um, so far, I like it, but I've only had it set up for three days, so I can't really say for sure yet. Um, but uh, I'll let you guys know how that goes and what I think about it after a couple of weeks. And I did uh, pick something up that I think is going to help my experience with the stand-up desk and uh, try not to laugh. Sorry, super thirsty. Got to. I'm trying to do little workouts in the morning, and they're kind of kicking my butt. But anyways, try not to laugh when I show you this. I got this little stand-up deck, the little balance board to stand on while I test out the stand-up desk thing. See me fidgeting around. That's that's what it what I'm doing. <laughs> it uh, got it on. I ordered it from Amazon, and it was a uh, uh, not the cheapest one they had, but I wanted one that was kind of like a skateboard because I used to uh, I grew up skating and snowboarding and surfing as a kid. Um, and when I was looking at some of these things. Uh, some of them are like insanely expensive for a little balance board. There was one that was like four hundred or three hundred dollars, and I was like, "That's just insane." Uh, this one was, uh, I think it was sixty bucks, fifty or sixty bucks. So I thought that was sort of reasonable. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys know how how it goes with the the balance board thing. And if you guys are really interested, uh, I can do a review on it or try to. I'm not necessarily. Uh, professional reviewer but i'll give my personal opinion uh, let me know in the comments if you guys would be interested in that but anyways so without further ado we'll get back to the topic at hand which is my tiling floor texture um i got i got everything uh sculpted out here in zbrush um i tried to keep it pretty simple uh i didn't want to do anything too crazy with it uh because um from what i understand in the research i did and reading up on it and even some tutorials the you don't want to have too many giant unique details because it uh can make the tiling more apparent faster i guess um and anyways i just uh got the crack sculpted in and some of those little divots and now I'm going to uh, do a decimation and get it ready to bring back into Blender. So, but before I do that, I'm going to duplicate it. And I wonder, did I? No, I didn't. I don't need to do that. I wonder if I should, uh... no, I, 
I was going to give it a color ID map, but I'm going to give it all one color when I when I bring it into Substance Painter. So I don't think I need multiple the color ID map. Okay, so I make a duplicate. This way I have a backup of the original. Um, if something goes wrong with the decimation and I don't like it, and for the decimation, I'm going to just, uh, I, I have my hot keys, not hot keys, my custom buttons down here. And let's see, I'll just pre-process the current and give it a quick, oh. it, uh, my video and stuff might bog down a little bit when I decimate this. Anything that taxes my computer while I stream tends to uh, slow things down sometimes. I notice that um, decimating stuff and baking stuff while streaming really has an impact on the, uh, the performance. All right, let's take a look at that. All right. We'll decimate it again, so pre-process. Should go a little faster this time. Okay, that's good enough. I can see I lost a little bit of a uh, detail there. I'm gonna undo that. Undo it twice, or three times. Okay, let's, I'm gonna open that up. I think I have my, Decimation set too low. Whoops, no, not that one. Not the activation, don't do that. Decimation. Yeah, I want to set this to 50%. And that, basically it tries to maintain the details, 50% of the details, I guess. And then we'll decimate. Give that a look. Decimate. And let's try one more. Right now I'm sitting at 245,000 points, 122, I think that's, that's reasonable, that's still super high, but uh, it'll hold the detail really well, and Blender can handle uh, that heavy of a mesh. I noticed Blender doesn't like anything over 250,000 uh, active points. Oh, excuse me. And then, all right, so let me, uh, let me save real quick. Always a good idea to save before you. Start in importing and exporting out of different programs. Little blender here. This is my my default setup for for Blender. I just this was a when I first got started getting into Blender. This was one of the first um, sculpts I tried to do in it. The sculpting in Blender is fantastic, by the way. I just uh, I'm just used to ZBrush, so that's why I use it. Um, but you can definitely achieve pretty much the same exact results unless you're doing super high fidelity stuff like skin and um, pores and stuff like that. But I just find the workflow a little easier. Oh, and I did not. Let's see if I can get. Uh, Let's see if I can get 
go Z or go B to work for me because sometimes it doesn't like to work. Going back into Blender, I noticed. All right. It'll work. I don't think it worked. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why it does that. I, I all something always feel seems like it goes wrong with uh with go B. Try it again, one more time. Go. Open a blender. Maybe if I Nope, just brought the original back in a ZBrush. Maybe I can take this one into Blender now. Nope, no luck. I don't know what the deal is. Try that. I forgot to turn that on. One more try. Go. Oh, I think it worked. <laughs> Yay, we got it. We got it. Amazing. Let me uh, turn that onto the smack cap. All right, it worked. Hallelujah. All right, so let me rename this. We'll name it Brick Brick or Hi. Underscore and I'll turn this off for now. And I think what I want I'm supposed to do is Make a duplicate of this. And it's nothing. Why aren't you snapping? Oops. Maybe try That's definitely not in the right spot. There we go. Understand why it does it. Oops. 
Come on, Blender. Oh, I want it. I would have tried to do this with uh you know what I think I might have an easier time no. can't tell if that's right or not. It sure looks like it is. Let me uh, let me try something else. Oh, hello, welcome. I'm just uh, trying to figure out how to lay out my my uh, tiling texture in Blender here, and the snapping is giving me a little bit of a hard time <clears throat> trying to figure out a good way to do this to make sure it tiles correctly because I've only tried this once so far and I know I have to get it exactly right maybe if I do it to uh... That looks good. I think that'll work. One more. I just have to duplicate it and make sure it's tiling. I think it is. There we go. I think we got it. It looks pretty good. Let's try it with a different... Uh... Yeah, not bad. All right, now I just need to center that and I think I need to get all of this down to the ground plane. Or at least closer to it. Now, I think I'll just duplicate it or join it all. Actually, I'll do this. I pick the middle one last. It should make it. Uh, let's see, it's the origin to... There we go. Now it's nice and centered. Um, now I just need to get a plane in there. I think
I think I just do that. No, that's not right. Um, I think I do that right there. And I take my plane, I'm gonna edit mode, select all. I give that a quick unpack. I just have to scale that in a little. Where there's a little room there on the edges. And I think that's it as far as preparing it for baking. Let's find out. Okay, so we'll call this uh go to this one. Call this one low. We do not, you know, I don't need a material on either of them. Okay. All right, so I'm going to export this now and take it into Marmoset to do a quick test bake. Um, I like to uh, kind of remind myself and remind any of you guys who use Blender, when you export, make sure you select the, uh, tick the uh, selected objects only option. Otherwise, um, otherwise it's gonna try to export everything in your file or in that scene. <clears throat> and depending how large your scene is, it it can take a long time. It takes a long time in general when it's exporting the high res stuff, like sculpts and stuff, or any high res uh, high res model you might have. That actually went surprisingly quick. Right now I'll just do the same thing with the low export the X. I'll just make sure I name this. Low. And once you check it, it's already checked for your whole session, but Blender doesn't save that setting, so you have to recheck it every time you uh, restart Blender. Export. All right, so I'm going to save, close out ZBrush, so I can free up some of my computer resources. I'm going to save this blend file. Save. And I'm going to launch Marmoset. <clears throat> I bought it on uh, Steam over the summer. They had a sale. It wasn't this summer. It was actually last summer. Kind of funny. I had it forever, but I never... Um, I never really used it. I kept using uh, Substance Painter for all my baking. But now that I've messed around in the uh, Marmoset tool bag for a little while, I really prefer baking in it because it just uh, this seems a lot faster. And I feel like the bakes are a little cleaner. So in Marmoset, you just, um, here, let me start over, kind of walk through this. Uh, so you just hit the new baker icon, that, that little loaf of bread, and it sets up a bake group. And for your bake group, you need to load in a high and low poly model. And we got those. So we'll go down to my Blender projects. Where are you at? There you go. And tiling stone floor. And see, I got my brick floor high, brick floor low. Just select both of those. And it should import it for you if I did it right. Hope I did. All right. 
Okay. Close this real quick. Good. I think we have succeeded. You can't see the pan the the plane because it's not double sided, but it's there. So if I tick it and we zoom in here, you'll see the projection. Yes, I think you will. Oh, there it is. <laughs> the uh, stone floor. And the nice thing about... Uh, oh. No, okay. Marmoset is... It saves it as a PSD Photoshop document, so you can pretty much edit it in any software you need to if you if something goes wrong. Is that showing up? Can you guys see that? See how the the floor is poking out through the projection? So you just kind of keep putting it up until it is just so there's nothing poking out of there. I think we got it. Don't see anything breaking through. Now I'll hide the high poly and go back up here to Baker. And I'm just going to do a quick test bake to see if it's looking okay. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty good. Let me see what that looks like if I tile it, though. Uh, I'll put a texture on here. Stone floor. Actually, I should have named it brick floor, but that's okay. No, I'm I'm not baking the light uh, information. I was just uh, I'm doing a test bake to just to make sure it's tiling properly first. I'm gonna jump back in a blender and check that out real quick. Um, so let me uh, let me open up the node editor here. Yeah, get the principal shader surface. And for now, I'm just uh, I'm just doing the I just want to see if the the if if it's tiling properly. And we'll just go up here. It's not going to look very, uh, very good right now because I don't have anything in there. Let me, uh, let me duplicate. Oh, let me get that light real quick. Pull that over. All right, moment of truth. Think, think it worked. I don't see any, I don't see any terrible seams. Yeah, I think, uh, I think we got it. Okay, so I can now, I can, 
go ahead and do bake all my maps now. So I'll jump in here and configure. I want the position, curvature, thickness, ambient occlusion. I don't think I need any of this stuff. Height, no. Then I just make sure I select all those in the actual baking presets, curvature, ambient occlusion. And for the ambient occlusion, oops, I'm gonna hit add cavity. Now I can go ahead and crank all the settings. I'm gonna bake this at 4K because it's easier to uh, go low than go high. You can't uh, up res them at the, the maps once you've baked them. Not in Marmoset anyway. And let's hit bake. This uh my my computer is definitely gonna bog down here, so just uh, bear with me for a second. Yeah, it's definitely it, it the Marmoset really hits your GPU um because it that's how it bakes. Uh, it, it's a little bit quicker than most bakers, but it definitely takes a little bit of time. And if you don't have a solid GPU, um, you might be better off doing it in Substance Painter, I think. I, I don't know for sure. I'm not... I mean, I do love gadgets and, and hardware and tech, but I'm... I am not very knowledgeable with uh, exactly how that stuff works. I'm not a technical hardware expert by any stretch of the imagination. If you guys have followed my channel at all, you've if you see my first couple of streams, it's pretty funny to watch uh, how how much I struggled with setting up everything. I still have. Stuff to learn about setting up my my camera. Um, I think I have OBS dialed in and how I want it anyway. It seems to work pretty well now. The microphone, yeah, that was a nightmare. <clears throat> Speaking of which, um, let me know if the audio is okay. If I need to speak a little louder. Come on, little computer, you can do it. After I get this done, let's see, it's probably going to have to maybe call it in a few minutes, but we'll test it out in, in, uh, in Blender real quick just to see. But uh, on Friday, I'm going to get the baking, not the baking, the texture painting done in Substance Painter. Um, I'll use the maps I bake in here to, to get the details and stuff in there. So I'll try to be building a stone uh, smart material in Substance Painter. So if you want to check that out, I'll be here on Friday. Uh, probably around the same time. I'm going to try to be here or try to stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday around 10 because um, I work at night. So 10 is kind of the, the most, 10 a.m. is the most reasonable time now for me. The big shift going from a day schedule. Yeah, the video freezes a lot. I can see it on my end too. It's a uh, as soon as it's done, it'll it'll catch back up, but the video looks super choppy right now. I wish there was something I could do about it, but I I am thinking of buying a new GPU 
uh, once NVIDIA releases their new ones. Um, I just want to see how much they're going to cost. Um, I'll probably end up getting like the, the mid-tier one. Um, like right now I have a 1070, a GTX 1070. Um, and it's, I got it right when it released. And it's been really great, but I feel like it's time to upgrade now. But yeah, on Friday I'll be back to uh, to build the smart material in in Substance Painter. Uh, I haven't ever done a stone material yet. I've done wood and metal so far for my other props. So it'll be kind of fun doing the stone material, I think. Uh, and uh, stylized. And speaking of stylized, also on uh, Saturday I'm going to stream. Uh, some some World of Warcraft if you're into that, uh, not for the intention of streaming how awesome I am because I'm pretty terrible, uh, but I'm gonna kind of look at stuff to get ideas uh, to try to make myself. I really love the art style in 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 like games like Dota, League of Legends, World of Warcraft. Uh, Heroes of the Storm, but I'm really digging the uh, the troll, the new troll zones. The content they have there is just so good. The the art style, whoever their art team, they they nailed it, man. Yeah, the troll lore is super fun so far. Yeah, so if you want to check it out on a Friday, on Saturday, that's when I'll be game streaming. And Friday I'll be finishing finishing this and baking or uh, texture painting it in substance. I think the this is the last map it has to bake, so bear with me on this. Uh, the processor I have is the, it's the 6900, the 6900K, kind of old now, um, it's like two or three years old, I think, maybe, maybe more, it's, it was the eight core processor, um, on the X99 chipset, uh, I bought it used, uh, from from eBay uh, like the whole system I bought the whole system from a guy on eBay uh, for I think he I think I got it for eight or nine hundred bucks but I got the power supply the motherboard memory uh, the, the case pretty much everything except for the GPU for eight hundred dollars which I thought was a pretty good deal back then. It might have been a, two years ago. I buy a lot of my stuff used on eBay. And um, most of the time it works out, but I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I've uh, been screwed. <laughs> All right. We are done. Whoa, that ambient occlusion is super aggressive. It just looks like that, though. Marmoset, uh, the way their ambient occlusion works, it can look really aggressive. That looks great. Especially from the top. Let's check that out in, in Blender real quick. Let me go ahead and delete that. I don't know if I have all the, I don't think these maps are gonna, oops, yeah. Control shift T, there we go. Yeah, that's just the, uh, the normals. 
But what I can do. In the world. There we go. I can give it a different color just so it's a little more interesting. All right, let's make, let's make it like a brown color. There we go. Like a sandstone. And then I can uh, drop in the uh, ambient occlusion. And the curvature to really exaggerate the color mix RGB. I need to make sure these are non color. Let's see, we'll do the AL. This one will be. The curvature. I mean, normally you wouldn't do this with a uh, PBR texture, but I want it to be super exaggerated, so that's kind of why I like doing it this way. I think I want this to be multiply. There we go. Yeah, that way it really exaggerates the the cracks and stuff in there. But this is that I just I'm testing it out. I'm going to once we get it into to uh substance, we'll get a, a nice a much nicer uh color and texture on it and stuff because right now it's relying completely on the yeah the Ryzen uh, 1700 from what I can tell is really good uh, what was I doing oh let me, uh, let me just give this like a little green Hint. Give this one a whoa, too much. Yeah, that works. Here we go. Tiling, tiling texture is a success. Um, I got about seven minutes, so I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Got to uh, get some stuff done before work, unfortunately. But yeah, I will be back on Friday, and I'm going to do the... Uh, smart material in substance paint, or at least I'm going to try. Um, I'm going to do a, I'm going to build up a stone smart material in substance painter. So if you want to see that, uh, I could try that. I'm not very, um, I have substance designer. But uh, I haven't used it yet because it's kind of confusing to me. I still haven't really wrapped my head around it. Um, but I'm, I might give that a try. That's uh, probably not a bad idea. I really do need to just start learning how to use uh, Substance Designer because I could have done this in, in one session, I think, if I did. But uh, let me save this out. Save as. 
but yeah um that's gonna be a wrap for today guys thanks for tuning in on friday i'll be back and we'll uh we'll get this guy textured in substance painter uh if you're not already subscribed hit that subscribe button that way you'll get notified as soon as i start streaming and if you like the video hit that like button uh i will see you guys in a couple of days have a good day thanks thanks for tuning in guys